Not long ago, the idea of hybrid trucks seemed far-fetched, but now it's a reality and the segment is growing fast. In this video, we're picking the top three best hybrid trucks this year. Number three, Ford F-150 Power Boost Hybrid. The F-150 usually dominates the charts when speaking of best trucks, but despite its impressive performance, not this time. And you're about to find out why. But first, let's check what the F-150 Power Boost configuration brings to the table. The heart of the hybrid pickup is a configuration that couples a 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged gasoline V6 with a 35-kilowatt electric motor. Together, this system can burst 430 horsepower and even more impressive torque, 570 pound-feet to be precise. That figure is especially noteworthy since it's even higher than what the F-150 Raptor can produce, a model known for its off-road performance where torque is key. This makes the Ford F-150 Hybrid one of the most capable trucks in its class, not just for hybrids, but compared to conventional models as well. When mentioning such electric-enhanced powertrains, the first thought is the gas mileage boost. While despite high outputs, the F-150 Hybrid returns 24 mpg both in city and highway driving. For a full-size truck that can tow, haul, and handle heavy-duty tasks, these numbers are decisive for drivers annoyed by frequent visits to gas stations. Ford has been a leader in the truck world, and with the hybrid F-150, the company is proving its commitment to green energy without sacrificing the legendary performance the truck enthusiasts demand. The pickup mixes fuel efficiency with muscle and capability, something the F-Series is known for. The big question on every trucker's mind is whether hybrid trucks have the towing power they need. The F-150 hybrid destroys all doubts with 12,700 pounds of towing capability, a result that will outperform many rivals, even those with conventional powertrains. For comparison, the standard gasoline-powered F-150 can do 13,500 pounds properly equipped, most models hover around a towing capacity of 10,000 pounds, depending on the engine configuration. This means that opting for the hybrid setup doesn't just help you save fuel, it also gives you a significant bump in hauling. Ford made it clear that hybrid technology is more than capable of taking on the toughest tasks. Despite its impressive specs, this truck lands in third place at our top three countdown of hybrid trucks. There's one major reason for that, price. The Power Boost Hybrid configuration is only available in the F-150's higher-end trims, Lariat, King Ranch, and Platinum. That pushes the starting price up considerably compared to other models. The Lariat grade costs $65,000, while adding a hybrid configuration increases the total bill to $68,500. The other two versions are already above $70,000. For many buyers, such a price is a significant hurdle. Fuel savings need a lot of time to cover the investment. If the F-150 Hybrid were offered in more affordable trims, such as the XLT, it would have easily moved up in our rankings. Well, there are two more reasons why the F-150 Hybrid is only at number three. The first one is just to be unveiled at the number two spot. Number two, Toyota Tundra iForce Max. You can save $10,000 by purchasing the Toyota Tundra Hybrid iForce Max configuration over the Ford pickup. That's just the first reason why this truck is a better choice than the Ford F-150. Soon you'll find out other stunning facts about the Tundra and its new powertrain. For years, the 5.7-liter V8 engine was the soul of this pickup, known for its strong performance, either if you're towing, hauling, or going off-road. When Toyota announced it would replace this beloved V8 with the iForce system, skepticism ran high. Many doubted that small turbocharged and hybrid-assisted engines could live up to the legacy of the 8-pot unit. If the iForce is not good enough, the introduction of the iForce Max Hybrid has proven that the new setup is not just a worthy successor, it's an upgrade that meets requirements on all fronts. The shift to the iForce system was driven by several factors, including the growing demand for better fuel efficiency and stricter emissions regulations. Toyota saw an opportunity to modernize its powertrains, reducing environmental impact without hurting the Tundra's toughness. By incorporating hybrid technology, the company has managed to find a balance between power and efficiency. Even die-hard fans of the V8 could see this coming. Toyota continues to downsize engines in most of its vehicles, and the half-ton truck was no exception. The standard non-hybrid 
Hybridi Force Mill is a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 producing 389 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. A 10 speed automatic transmission is tuned to deliver optimal performance either for daily commuting or serious towing and hauling challenges. The iForce V6 already provides impressive performance, which is a good foundation for a hybrid setup. The iForce Max adds an electric motor that upgrades the system's output to 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque, 7 ponies, and 13 pound feet more than the F-150 hybrid. That extra power from the hybrid system is particularly noticeable in situations that demand quick acceleration or when tackling steep inclines. But what also matters is towing potential. The Toyota Tundra Hybrid won't disappoint with a maximum capacity of 11,450 pounds. The setup is just 550 pounds shy of the volume offered by the standard iForce engine. This difference is welcome when towing heavy loads at lower speeds and when starting from a standstill. Nevertheless, that's 1,250 pounds behind the Ford F-150 power boost, but the Japanese truck maker covered that with other surprises. The hybrid's massive torque also translates into the off-road realm. The iForce Max is standard on the Tundra TRD Pro, Toyota's flagship off-road model, and one of the fan-favorite configurations for tough adventures. While the Ford F-150 offers impressive capabilities with the Raptor, it doesn't come with a hybrid option, although the power boost offers extra torque. The Tundra TRD Pro maximizes the potential of the twist power coming from the iForce Max. This trim is equipped with several other upgrades that will deliver the whole package for serious off-roading. The TRD Pro includes Fox internal bypass shocks, a front skid plate, all-terrain tires, and a locking rear differential, among other parts. The suspension is also tuned for better performance on rocky trails, and its multi-terrain select and crawl control systems make navigating difficult environments a breeze. The TRD Pro package on the Tundra compensates for its lower fuel economy compared to the Ford F-150 Hybrid, which clearly has the edge of delivering consistent 24 mpg in the city, highway, and combined. The Tundra Hybrid matches the highway output, while 18 mpg in the city and 20 mpg combined might be a reason to switch places of these two trucks. On the other hand, with the V8, the pickup can only do 16 mpg. If there were doubts about these positions 2 and 3 and which model should be picked, number 1 was an easy choice. Number 1. Ford Maverick A compact pickup over half-tonners? Yes, it's possible. It'll take some time until some other truck reaches 37 mpg. Ford's decision to introduce the Maverick, a compact pickup, was a risky move for most experts. In a market dominated by large trucks, critics believe that Ford was wasting resources and betting on a vehicle that couldn't lure buyers, eventually making the Maverick a flop. However, the company proved them wrong. The pickup quickly became a hit attracting a new wave of customers who wanted the practicality of a truck without the big size and hefty price tag. Its affordability, versatility, and efficiency made it stand out, but what really elevated its success was the hybrid version. The Ford Maverick Hybrid is powered by a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine paired with an electric motor, offering a combined output of 191 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. This powertrain is mated to a CVT and boosts fuel efficiency over heavy-duty tasks. While the Maverick Hybrid is not a performance powerhouse, it drops jaws with the gas mileage results. The small pickup returns 37 mpg combined, 42 mpg in the city, and 33 mpg on the highway. Since the compact truck market isn't big, we can compare these results with some small crossovers in SUVs. Vs, and there are only a handful of models that can top 37 mpg combined. It looks like Hyundai hasn't seen this coming and offered the Santa Cruz without a hybrid unit. In the near future, the Korean manufacturer will have to add it as well as all other upcoming small pickups because Ford has set some standards here. While 2,000 pounds of towing capacity doesn't sound impressive, that is enough for small trailers or light-duty hauling. You didn't expect the compact vehicle to work hard, did you? There's an option to purchase a 4K towing package and increase the hauling potential to 4,000 pounds, which is a game-changer for this year. Ford added the Tremor and Lobo packages to the Maverick's lineup, but these are high-end models that are not available with a hybrid engine. The XL is the base version, priced at $26,295, and for $2,500 more, buyers can get an upgraded XLT package, while the Lariat is the most expensive Maverick with a hybrid drivetrain, starting at $36,735. Only the Super Crew cabin is available, while some of the notable upgrades are all-wheel drive for $2,000. $220, a black appearance package, and a Tonneau box cover. When you calculate the starting price and savings on fuel, it's obvious why the compact pickup takes the number one position over much larger trucks capable of towing massive hauls. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!